Good morning and welcome to another of Tim's Tech Talk videos here at Venom Motorsports. Today we're having a look at an X22 because it needs to have the stator replaced. So in order to get at the stator you've got to remove this rear chain guard assembly. So what this is basically is a metallic cover. It looks like this. You're going to unbolt it so that you have access to this bolt and then the remaining bolts here on the stator cover to pull the stator out and have a look at it. So to replace the stator, what's involved with that? This is the stator right here. You're going to have to remove these two machine bolts, take them out, and then remove these three screws that you see here on the side. This will allow the stator to come out and of course the wiring harness for the stator as well. To put a new stator in, just go ahead and put the coils in place, snug everything up, and that's all there is to it. It really is a pretty simple job. It's not too bad. Other things to note while we're here, again, the front drive gear and the starter. Now, if you ever have to replace the starter on this bike, there's two machine bolts in the front that are holding it in place. You remove those, take the old starter out, put the new starter in, and just thread the chain back onto the starter itself. So this is the drive gear for the starter. This is the chain drive for the starter. And of course, this will be the flywheel to roll the engine over. And then to reassemble, simply take your time and you'll notice that the stator housing goes back in the exact same place that it was when you took it out. You just roll it in gently and you'll feel it'll sit perfectly for you. Just make a few adjustments and you're ready to install the bolts again to hold everything in place. Just snug them up tight. There's not a special torque uh, spec on them. But keep in mind, most of these parts are made of white cast metal. So don't be too hard on them or they will crack. Have yourselves a great day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.